Is that a Hachi Kazuki reference? Rainbow Moon. I like it. They've got some good logos. We're off to a good start. Right, so this is Smooshy. Gone Home, or is it Come Home? Yeah, Gone Home's a different game. Um... We get... Graphics? Yo, I can't see. Oh, wow, that is very pixelated. Let's go with low. That looks kind of nice. Audio. We'll just leave it at... Manual. Camera sensitivity. Turn speed. Oh, what languages can we do? English, German, French, Spanish, Japanese, Nihongo, and simplified Chinese, so... No, not Hong Kong Chinese. Oh no, I mentioned the Forbidden Country. Hey, Phantom War Jr. Have you been here since I stopped playing Mario? Whatever, welcome back. Hi, Ruben. We're gonna play a little fungus game. I don't think anything bad happens in this game. Like, at all. Steepy fungus. It's crazy this fungus has a face. Musho, Mishu, and what? Okay, well, the movement's kind of... There's, like, a noticeable delay between me pressing the stick. I guess it's less of a delay, more like an acceleration type thing. Oh! Camera's sensitive, though. We can jump. We can pull up a menu. We can quit the game. Both the pause button, or plus and minus button do the same thing. So I guess the first step is try to find someone to talk to. Hey, it's another mushroom person. They look like me. Good morning, Smooshy. Hey, Mishu. Are you working on a new drawing? Yup. Ruben did almost nothing again, and tomorrow he's leaving Denmark. Even when you're on vacation, sometimes it's nice to have a day where you do basically nothing. Just kind of exist a little bit. The new drawing's gonna be all of us having a picnic. Oh, I like the sound of that. Don't look at it, though, okay? It's not ready yet. I promise to shield my eyes from it. You have my word. Okay, good. Can we swim? The mushroom can swim. Hey, Musho. Oh. Morning, Smooshy. Um. What are you doing? Practicing my floating. I'm still too scared to swim out there, so for now, I'm practicing in this pool. Oh. Well, it's looking good. Thanks. The water controls are a little bit like there's a momentum, again, but the opposite direction. Instead of startup momentum, it's kind of drift a little bit when you stop pushing the stick. I'm getting, like, Katamari vibes. Oh, there's the last one. Did you get any good food on your day of doing nothing, Ruben? Hey, Umi. Wah! Oh. Hey, Smooshy. 
This seems like a cool spot to play your flute. Really? I'm kind of scared being way up here. What are you doing up here, then? I lost Pokey. Who? My pet ladybug. Uh, is it a pet, like, normal pet, or is it a pet like you're a parasitic fungus and you're controlling its brain? You named him? Of course. He's my best friend. Umi, that ladybug probably flew back to home to its family. I don't think it was ever a pet to begin with. No way! I bet he's lost and scared out there. Umi, listen. Pokey loves it when I play the flute. He follows me around whenever I play it. So, maybe he'll come back if he hears my flute. <sighs> Pokey really means a lot to you, huh? Mm-hmm. Alright. I'll see if I can find him then. You'll help? Oh, thank you, Smooshy. Here, take my flute. But don't you need this? I've been up here playing for a while now, but still no Pokey. So maybe if you play it, he'll come back to you. I guess it can't hurt to try. Ruben's gonna go eat after 20, or 10 minutes. We're just eating scraps, including scrap candy. Thanks, Smooshy. I'll stay here and see if I can spot him. We can jump while playing the flute. That's a little better. We can't double jump or anything. But if my video game instincts tell me what they're telling me, as they always are, go to the weird spot and you'll find the thing you need. There we go. You go to the slightly out of the way spot, you find the ladybug. We can still play flute even while swimming, because we are a fungus, and we just float. The other family that Ruben's on vacation with eat, like, three or four bags of chips a day. I eat, like, a bag of chips a week, sometimes. Nice hat. You found him! Looks like Pokey is happy to see you, Umi. I was so worried about you. Don't ever leave me again, Pokey. I'm sure that won't happen, Umi. Pokey is part of the family now. You're right. And family always sticks together. Or buds off from each other, depending on if you're made of fungus or not. So how do you get how about you get down from here? Okay, maybe Musho and Mishu will want to play with Pokey. Let's go see. Wait, what's that flapping sound? It's just like the beginning of Wind Waker. Okay, it's like kind of the opposite of the beginning of Wind Waker, in that Smooshy was the one that was kidnapped by a bird. Can y'all hear anything of the game audio? Because it's kind of low to me, and I'm not seeing much activity on the audio mixer. A little audio. I mean, yeah, Smooshy does look kind of poisonous. This bird probably is making a mistake. Let me see about turning the, uh, gain up a little bit. No, 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 no! Umi, Musho, Mishu! 
I have to get back to them. There must be a way home. We'll just call the eagles. Do I still have a flute? I do not still have a flute. I can't break these eggs. The smart one got stolen, and now the other mushrooms are doomed. The little go-getter. That is... Smooshy. Mushi? What is this guy called? I've already forgotten the name of our main character. A lot of trash around this nest. It's an interesting way to render your waterfall. Let's just follow the main path. You know what? We'll, it's an exploring game, but we're going to be boring about it and just follow the main path. Who's throwing all these bottles out in the woods? I'm getting low-key Animal Crossing vibes from this music, and I like it. Fire! What are you? Excuse me. Hey there. Welcome to paradise, my friend. This is paradise? Oh, yeah. Peace and quiet. Nobody around. You're about to live the good life, my friend. I can't stay here. I've got to get back home. Oh. Are you lost? I'm very lost. I was taken from my home and family just now. Well, where do you live? I'm not quite sure, but it's near a lake. Is there one nearby? Hmm. There isn't a lake around here, but there is a river in one of the nearby forests. Maybe it'll lead you to a lake. Ribbon has food now. Have fun with the food. Well, I guess I could try finding this river then. Aw, oh, don't get so down now. You want to get back home, right? More than anything. Then you've got to be strong. Confident. And most importantly, brave. But I don't even know what's out there. You can fear the unknown all you want, my friend. But it won't get you anywhere. So instead of fearing the unknown, embrace it. You're right. I'm gonna do it. I'll find my way back home no matter what. That's the spirit. I know you've got what it takes, so I want you to have these. This is a sword. You got the tools of an explorer. These should help me get around easier, I hope. We got some fish hooks, we got a little leaf. You'll be soaring through the skies and climbing on almost everything with those. You really let me have these? Oh, sure. My days of adventuring are over. So I'm ready to pass them on to someone in need. And that's you, my friend. So just follow this dirt path and keep an eye out for that river. Okay, I will. Thank you so much. My pleasure. All right, well, let's just keep going, then. Oh, okay, so gliding takes up a lot of stamina. But at least the stamina refills quickly.
Oh, we follow the dirt path. Something shiny over here. We found the tool of mining. This thing is strong. I bet it could smash some rocks. It's a, uh, it's an Allen wrench. Cute. I kind of doubt we take fall damage since, you know, we're so small. Hey, it's like old school Monster Hunter. I have to keep pressing the button. It's a secret. You items, skins, and more from your inventory. Classic shroom. Leaf. The perfect glider does exist. Rusty hooks. Rusty, but trusty. Tool of mining. This thing is strong. Okay, well, that's exactly the same as when I got it. Inside the pot could hold some secrets. It does not hold secrets. No secrets today. Into the dark, because that's how you find adventures while you're exploring, is go to dark places. And then you go into the wrong dark place and it's full of poison gas. Uh... But he's a mushroom, he doesn't have to breathe. Probably. Looks like someone left a map here. I guess they don't need this anymore? I'll take it. Not much of a map. My Senna entry. Are you a friend? Uh, what a shame. Um, is everything okay? I'm afraid not. It looks like this is the only restored shrine now. What are shrines for? Oh, you must not be from around here. These shrines bring us good luck. It's said if the right flower is placed in the center, the forest will grant you luck and good fortune. Wow. How nice of the forest. Yes, very nice indeed. But if only the others are restored. Oh well. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye out for them. That's very kind of you, little mushroom. How does plant person even know what mushroom is? Can I grab onto glass? No, I cannot grab onto glass. Not sure what these green shinies are for. Ah, interesting. So, instead of limiting my climbing with the stamina bar, it's more like I can just only climb so much. I just kept gliding after I ran out of stamina. Does that mean that I don't have to worry about it? You found a tool of writing. Oh, pointy. It makes me feel more academic. What's the tool of writing do? Doesn't say. Oh, alright. So, when I run out of stamina on my leaf, it just kind of, like, falls faster. But it doesn't just immediately dump me. I knew it. Well, here's another flower shrine. Um... There we go. We got good fortune. Whatever that means. It means green things. 
spore of energy. I feel a strong energy from within. Also, it's sticky. Sticky energy spores. Uh, are you friend? Mr. Snail with legs? Oh my. Another mushroom species. Uh, yes? It is I. And what species are you? Fly agaric. The smooshy species, I guess? Smooshy species? This is a new one for me. I must record my findings. But alas, I can't do anything without a new writing tool. What do you mean? Well, I'm a mycologist, you see. And I record my research of mushrooms in my journal, but I'm unable to record any data. How come? My writing tool is withered away, it seems. Oh. Well, actually, I found this earlier. Seemed important, so I picked it up. You can have it, though. Holy mushroom! You have saved me, little smooshy. With this, I can continue my research. And as my thanks, I'll share this with you. Behold! The Mycology Journal! The who what? Listen carefully, Smooshy. Every time you come in contact with a new mushroom, a new entry will appear in your journal. And you can read each entry to learn about that mushroom. Sounds pretty neat. I've never been able to learn more about my kind. There is much to discover, little Smooshy. So go out there and learn about your amazing species. Mushrooms. Mycena Haematopus. Is it Mycena? Oh, no, no. No, it wasn't. I was looking up things about mushrooms earlier today. But it wasn't a Mycena, that was the, um... The ant control a fungus. Although there are several pinkish Mycena species, this one's rather special. If the flesh is cut, a dark red blood exudes out, thus giving this mushroom the nickname Bleeding Mycena. Like most fungi, this species is saprotrophic, meaning it obtains nutrients from decomposing organic matter. Smooshy notes, these things ooze out red liquid when cut, I'm fascinated and terrified at the same time. So I guess every time we bump into a mushroom, we get fancy mushroom facts. Now I gotta find more mushrooms. This is a learning stream now. We are learning things. New mushroom. Hyphaloma. Capnoides. This species grows in clusters on decaying wood and is easily spotted with its cinnamon to orange caps. Take caution when foraging for the species as they're easily confused with a poisonous sulfur tuft mushroom. Smooshy says these are always growing in groups. I wonder if they ever get tired of each other. Like, what happens if they get into a fight? They have to just stare at each other and get over it? Looks like a berry should go here. Sleeping lizard thing. Yes. Oh, um... Can you please move? Food? Food? Um, no food here. But you're kinda in the way... Then no. Hi, little axolotl whooper looper looking guy. What's up? Hello. Is there a river nearby? Yup. Oh, where is it? I was really hoping he was going to say up. Right through this tunnel. Oh no. You're talking about this one with that lizard in it? Aren't you? Yup. He's a big old fella. Taking a big old nap. But I've got to pass through there. It might be my only way home. Have you tried waking it up? Kinda. Tried asking it to move earlier, but it just responded with food or leave. 
I'm not trying to get eaten today, so I peaced out. So then, it's just a little hungry. Yup. And grumpy. Maybe I can lure it out with some food then. Worth a shot. I saw a blueberry around here earlier. Bet this big fellow would like that. Oh, where is it? I think someone is hoarding one. Over by Myrtle Pools. It's a pretty chill spot. Just follow the path up this hill. Okay. Thanks for the help. Yup. Mushroom-sized road signs. Forest entrance. Murder pools. Anemone woods. Bolette? Or is that Bolet Beach? I don't know what that word means. Shiny thing. More little shiny green rocks. I'm sure they'll be important later. Oh no, we're going off the critical path. I said I wasn't going to do that, kind of. And I think what this needs isn't in this forest. And that looks like something I need, like, a sword or something to cut through. Maybe there's a way to cut these vines. Yeah, Mushi, you and me, we're, we're thinking on the same level there. blue stuff. Different kind of rocks. Anemone woods, enter passage, myrtle pools. Let's just go on the critical path. Hey, lighter. We can't take the lighter. Oh well. Myrtle pools, but also new mushrooms. Volvaplutius bloiocephalus. This large mushroom is commonly known as the big sheath mushroom, with a cap of 5 to 15 centimeters in diameter. The top of this mushroom's cap is markedly sticky when fresh, so touch it with care. Smooshy says, I tried saying the name of this mushroom quickly three times in a row. It was a lot harder than I thought. Cool mushroom, though. Volvo Pluteus. You look like the kind of guy who would hoard a blueberry. Yes. What's up? How can I get that blueberry from you, man? Oh man. What a vibin' day. Yeah, it's really nice out. Hanging by the water with my blue bee that I worked so hard to get. Yes, sirree, doesn't get better than this. Blue bee? Yeah, man, you know. Blue bee, short for blueberry. Oh. Oh, wait. Would you by chance give one to me? I really need it for something. Give my blue bee? Man, I love this thing. Don't think I could just give it up. Oh, I understand. But I've been vibing with those green crystals lately. You down for a trade, little mushroom dude? Say, 60 crystals for my berry? Okay. Oh, hold up, man. Looks like you're short of crystals. Come back when you have at least 60 and we've got a deal. And there we go, we now know what the crystals are for. Ooh, 
Red mushroom that bleeds. Not sure what kind of critter you're supposed to be. Different mushroom, I guess. Hey, hi, hello. Hi! My senses are tingling. Your senses? Yes, yes. I'm trying to collect these old circular relics. I think they were currency of a past civilization. Or they were some sort of frisbee. Still researching, of course. Oh. Well, good luck with that. But I'm sensing two more of these relics in this area. I really need them for my research. Where are they? Hmm. I sense they're somewhere higher up. Too high for me to reach. Gah, why are my arms so short? Whoa, take it easy. I can find them for you. Oh. Well, thank you, kind stranger. Don't thank me yet. Let me see if I can get them for you first. How many did you say there were again? There should be two more around here. According to my senses. Right. Your senses. I'll be back then. We also need to find green stuff. Trade for a blueberry. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be one of those type of games. What? Sure. Sure, why not? We found an ancient relic. Is it worth anything? Who knows? Looks like a Japanese 5 yen coin? Or just a washer? I'm convinced these are frisbees. Oh! Did you find both relics yet? Not yet. Let me re-sense them again. Maybe they moved. Nope, they're still here. Alright. I'll keep looking then. So I guess next is we climb up this way. It's like a rope there, but I don't think I can quite grab it. Is that it? That's it. It's a pretty versatile wall cling jump mechanic. Well, that settles it. This is going to be another game where I'm like, oh man, I gotta beat it and then I gotta watch the speed run. The speed run probably has a lot less mushroom facts, though. Oh, did you find both relics yet? Yup, here they are. Ah, such fine specimens. Starting to rethink my frisbee hypothesis now. Thank you so much for the help. No problem. I've got about 20 of these green crystals on me. Please take some with you. It's the least I can do. Oh, thanks. Now then, time to analyze these relics. We got Achievos. So now we just kind of wander around, I guess, until we find enough green crystals. Ruben did not know. They also got Chinese food. It's 
I am morbidly curious about Dutch Chinese food. Well, because every country that does Chinese food has some, like, sort of weird little idiosyncrasies about it. Like, American Chinese food has more sugar in it. Or Japanese Chinese food tends to have more, like, fish things added to it. Hey, we found a new mushroom species. Let's stand on the mushroom while we read about the mushroom. New mushroom is... Macra Lepiota Procera. We get the Chinese food from the Chinese people. But they don't do anything to adapt it to, like, what Dutch people like to eat. This massive mushroom is commonly referred to as a parasol mushroom. They're often found solitary in pastures and woodlands. However, they're known to form in fairy rings, which is naturally occurring ring or arc of mushrooms. Smooshy says, wow, these just perfect umbrellas. I feel so safe under the shade of these beauties. Thank you, parasol shrooms. You're still in Denmark. So yeah, you might not be tuned into the tastes of Denmark people to really vibe how their Chinese food is adjusted. What kind of bug are you? Hi there. A mushroom using the strength of the winds. That's not something you see every day. Oh, you mean my leaf glider? It's been pretty useful. But it could be better, yes? Um, I'm gonna say yes. Ruben didn't eat any of the Chinese food. That's sad. Chinese food tends to be pretty good. Allow me to help then. How? Us forest wisps use the essence of wind. It breathes through the forest, bringing and taking life as it passes. Whoa. That's really mystical. Yes, very mystical indeed. Here, take some of mine. You found the essence of wind. Thank you so much. Reuben didn't like it. Oh, well. You are very welcome, little mushroom. So we gotta find more of these little wind spirits. I'm gonna get on mush. There we go. I don't see anywhere useful we can get, the get to from there. Just wanna land on this cinder block? We got it. He is an organ donor. He has donated me some of his wind organ. So right now we're basically on a quest to find more green rocks, because there's a lizard that wants to eat a blueberry, and this guy who has a blueberry wants 60 green rocks for the blueberry. And I need some way of cutting things. Oops. Can I get any higher? That's about as high as I can get. I want to get on top of this branch here. Because that purple stuff might be useful. The hot tub... No, hot tub. The hot tub here is hot. It's a new kind of mushroom? It is a new kind of mushroom. New mushroom. 
Chalciforus piperatus. Nicknamed the peppery bolote, this mushroom is quite easy to identify with its beautiful orange spores. Although edible when fully cooked, the mushroom has a very peppery taste, hence the name. Trumi says, wait, why are there notes on here about the mushroom's flavor? I'm scared. Ruben was in control of the fire. What kind of hot tub has actual fire in it? Uh, hi, Leaf Dude. Hop, hop. Hello? Ho, ho, ho. Another apprentice. Come to learn the ways of the blade. Uh, actually, I... Hop, hop. Do not fear the blade, squishy mushroom. For it is not a weapon, but a tool. What is going on here? I am a master of said tool. And said tool holds great power. Power that must be shared. Ruben had to heat it. Just throw in... Oh, a wood in there every 15 minutes. That is a very different kind of hot tub than what I'm used to. Uh, shared? For a small price, Hop Hop. What exactly is this blade thingy for? Paths may be blocked. Souls may be trapped. But the ways of the blade can free them. A slash here. And a hiya there! Um... I guess it sounds pretty useful. What's the price for this blade tool thing? The price, you ask? Ho ho ho! I merely request green crystals in exchange for such awesome power. How many do you want? 30 green crystals, hup hup. Okay. The deal is struck! You probably shouldn't run with this thing out. Probably the cheap kind. The cheap kind of hot tub? The kind of hot tub you can make with a metal barrel and some wood? Ho ho ho! I've made a knight of you, little squish. Um... Thanks? Tread carefully as you harness the power of the blade, for you may use it to cut down vines blocking your path. Not quite that cheap. But never unleash its awesome power on an individual. Okay, I won't. So we gotta find a purple flower to activate this gate. Hiya! Okay, that takes a lot of a lot of button press. A lot of button press. Ugh, button presses. I found a little key thing. I don't know what this little key thing is for, so I'm just gonna leave it here for now. It's it's safe enough there. Now we gotta find 30 more green crystals to get that blueberry. Let's go look at the little statue real quick. Does the statue have things for me? Doesn't seem to. Ah. But it got me high enough to see this. Twenty-nine more to go. It's another little statue. Nice. There was some cuttable vines up here, right? But it was another one of these little hands. It's a hand! Oh, okay. So we find a broken statue. We can give it its hands back. Or was this guy missing its hands? This guy's missing his hands. Okay. Okay. 
Why is this mushroom the only one with a mind, arm, and legs? I mean, we found other things with arms. Like a lizard. Now, why is he the only one doing much of anything out here? That's just because he's a video game protagonist. It's one. Oh, I can swim with the hand. That works. And flower. And flower shrine blessing things. I don't really know what it does. Um, what's going on with these spores? What? What was that? Hey, wait a sec. My legs feel stronger. Spores have empowered you. Hold ZR to form a brief super sprint. That's not too helpful, but a little helpful, I guess. New mushroom. New mushroom is Antiloma Postetteri. Ruben's, I guess his friends we broke. The totally not illegally modded one. That's a shame. Antiloma Postetteri, also known as the blue pink gill, is a small and delicate species. Yet it's quite distinctive with the all-around blue coloration. Truly a sight to behold if you come across one. The blue coloration could potentially be used as a natural blue dye, but further research is still needed. Smooshy says these blue mushrooms really stand out, almost in a showing off kind of way. Wait a sec, are they blue to make other mushrooms jealous? Oh no, it's working. The we can be fixed, hopefully. Oh good, more green crystals. Did I go in that can? I think I went through over there. I think I went there. I haven't found anyone who wants these blue crystals yet, but you know. I'm sure there'll be someone. Oh. Almost didn't see you there, little green leafy guy. Red, green leafy guy. For the last time, I am not a strawberry. Thank you and goodbye. Ruben's sister and her friends sleep in the little house hut and they made a lot of trash. Who gave them things to make trash with? Wait. My bad. I thought you were that crazy girl who tried to eat me. I definitely wasn't trying to do that. I was just wondering if you've seen any blueberries around here. Blueberries, eh? I can't say I've seen any here. But you could always check the crystal caves. Crystal caves? They steal bags of candy daily. Steal like from you or steal like from a store as an actual crime while they're in a foreign country? And chips. Yeah, stuff falls in there all the time. Pretty sure that cave is magic or something. I mean, the crystal's flipping glow in there. Explain how that works. I really don't know magic. Oh. Well, uh, where is this crystal cave exactly? To my right. You literally can't miss it. Oh, perfect. 
But these pesky vines showed up recently. Looks like nobody's getting in there unless those vines get cut. It's times like this I wish I had a double-sided axe. Uh, that sounds really inefficient. But thanks for the help. And thank you for not thinking I was a strawberry. They steal the candy and chips from Ruben's parents. Got it. No actual crimes being admitted on stream. Stab, 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 stab. Can I break the glowy crystals? Maybe? No? Maybe there isn't very much to this crystal cave. Or maybe I need to be better at climbing to explore this crystal cave. Oh, never mind. There's a path up. Just went the wrong direction. Uh, okay. This is going to be a little bit of a challenge. Maybe we can make the jump from here? Yeah, we're good. The crystals are in the cave. But not the kind of crystals we need. That looks like part of a circuit board. Well, there's some blue crystals, but not the kind we need. We need the green crystals, because the other fungi are picky about what kind of crystals will trade me to get blueberries. can't just, like, go through there. And I can't look behind me because my head gets in the way. Cap, whatever. What is this? Looks like this bit right here can, like, go in and out. Not sure what this is. You have a sword, mug them, and turn them into a liquid container. Smooshy does not seem to be about that violence. Not sure how I get up there, but... That would be how we get up there. But also green crystals, I think. Yes. Cool, we don't lose stamina when we're on the uh, fast moving wind. Okay, these are some wrenches. Hmm. So we gotta find another button, I guess, to activate this one. I think we're right over where we came in. 
No? Maybe? I don't know. Ah, there we go. If we could find a way to get up there, we'd be good. We're working on this. Do I want a sword? Not really. I don't have any use for a sword in real life. Though they are fun to just look at. And button. I said button. Hit the button, Smooshy. There is no fall damage because we are a tiny little mushroom. Into the glowing green can of mysteries. Mysterious green stuff. So purple's the way back. I was kind of hoping there'd be a path here. I can't break these rocks. I probably can't break these. What if I... I mean, this slope right here, you see you see where we're going with this, right? There's got to be some big, heavy thing up here that we can push down. Oh, those aren't green crystals. Not what I expected to happen. I was guessing that some kind of, like, boulder was going to come rolling down here. There's another potential. Wait. I thought it was something glowing right on this cliff, but no. This button might not be working. Looks like something's missing here. This cave is bigger than I thought it was going to be. Just kind of keeps going. Let me get up there somehow. But also check inside this cardboard box. Worth it. The sad thing about being inside this cave, though, is unlike in Zelda, we're not going to find more mushrooms here. If we can't find mushrooms, we can't get more mushroom facts. So we need to fix that some button somewhere so we can ride the wind across to get to that whatever it is 
I'm just doing all these little side quests while trying to find enough little green crystals to trade for a blueberry. Kind of like Wario Land, in that the only thing they can do to punish me is waste my time. But they're not quite as bad about wasting my time as Wario Land is. Boop. Well, I guess that is an accomplishment, sort of. Ride the tiger. And button. More controlled demolitions. Of some sort of shortcut, I guess. I mean, there's a space right up there, but I don't think we can get to it with my current jumping ability. But can we get anywhere else. Let's put this up above there. We just press that button to activate that wind. Sure, where we're supposed to go now. It's from here we haven't really gained access to anything new. I guess it's less about accessing something new and maybe setting up the future path for whatever boulder thing? I don't know, I think I might have bounced off this puzzle at this point. That's the only place I can see now that I haven't been to, but I can't get up there. here. Oh! Pfft. Jolly candy-like button right there. Totally missed. Could have found that earlier. Do, 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 do. 
Light. And... Shiny. The shiny thing is mine. We cannot glide while we have shiny things in my hand. Booyah, question mark? Now we can get up there. Why are we getting up here? Don't know. Now I do. Physics. This is not the easiest thing to roll. But someone's like, well, we gotta put some sort of pushing puzzle in our game. Work out how that physics works. And then it's just automatic. automatic. More importantly than unlocking whatever that thing is, though, Maybe we can grab those green crystals. We cannot grab those green crystals. My disappointment is immeasurable. I found a blueberry! So we don't need to bribe that guy. Do I like museums? Yes. I am a pretty big museum enjoyer. What kind of museums? When I was a kid, I enjoyed going to science museums a lot, but I don't really, you know, get anything out of those now. Um, so I'm more into history museums at this point. I like seeing artifacts. This little temple wants us to find a blue flower to put in it. Like, I already talked about, at the beginning of the summer, going to Jamestown, one of the oldest settlements in the New World, and, well, that didn't completely fail. I'm getting to see the uh, artifacts, including a bunch of people's skeletal remains that were all jacked up because it was hard living there. sneeze, but I can't sneeze. Oh. That was bad. But I'm not totally stuck. Ruben does not like museums. That might be because you're still in school and you're forced to learn stuff all the time. Or as I get to learn new stuff only of my own volition. If I don't want to learn things, I don't have to. So it's like there's more of a choice in it for me. Does that guess sound like at least a little bit close?
Okay, I'm giving up on that blue flower. I need to find my way back to this big pipe. I'm reoriented now. Yeah, it's not as fun when you're forced to go. Art museums are kind of neat, in that a lot of the art you see in an art museum isn't that good. So you missed this earlier, but we were trying to collect a bunch of green crystals so we could buy this blueberry from this dude. But uh, now I don't have to. Screw you, buddy. You don't get crystals anymore. I found a better blueberry. Th a free blueberry. How about that? Best price. Free. Ancient Passage. Rib went to one museum he liked with the school. That was delicious. Bring me another. Why? Wait, are you serious? Yes. But can you please just move out of the way now? No. Bring food. Fine. Oh, look, we can go inside this tree stump. And there's a dude. Little worm mushroom dude. Hello. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, see any purple crystals around here? Well, I... Because they're very powerful. Really? They just seem like regular crystals to me. Ruben like the technology museum because you can interact with stuff. Same thing with science museums. They tend to have a lot of interactive stuff, whereas art museums or history museums, museums with a lot of archaeological artifacts, you're really not allowed to touch stuff. But I, I kind of don't need to touch stuff anymore to be entertained. <laughs> Ruby got to press buttons at the technology museum. Fool! They hold great power. Power that only mushrooms can harness. And you have to spin things. Ruben was god of fun lights. That actually sounds like a pretty good god to be. I don't think anyone's gonna hate on the god of fun lights. Well, I am indeed a mushroom. Yes, yes, an interesting specimen. But it'll take more than that. You must acquire an augmenter to use its power. Are you paying attention? Yes, I am. Something about an augmenter. Precisely. Find an augmenter, combine your purple crystals with it, and watch yourself transform. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. The power of the crystals is cool! Right. Be warned. These augmenters are not so easily found. But the purple crystals share their knowledge with me. They speak to you? People with epilepsy- okay, you're right. People with epilepsy probably don't like the god of fun lights. I'm not sure what we can do about that. <laughs> In riddles, yes. Transcripts of where these augmenters may be. So speak to me if you wish to access such powerful knowledge. Uh, okay, thanks. Now then, what would you like to know? A uh, purple augmenter. One of the shrines holds something divine. What would you like to know? Strawberry augmenter. Sweet. Juicy and red strawberries fill her head. What would you like to know? Flower augmenter. She treasures the flower shrines, adorned colors divine. A secret augmenter. A locked door with a mystery in store. You are not helpful. Bye. Don't forget the power of the crystals is cool. Yes, fungus sim. We are being a fungus. And jumping from tall ledges, because at this scale, fall damage doesn't exist. 
So I can just climb all the way up here. Grab these shiny purple crystals. And then I can just jump straight off the cliff. Wouldn't hurt my fungus. It'll be fine. And I now have enough green crystals to buy the other blueberry. Because that's what we're doing here. We're, we're finding blueberries. So we can feed them to a lizard. Just gotta remember where that stupid dude with his... He's up there. Does your gold end up in soup? My goal is not to get eaten. We're trying to just get back home to our friends uh, Umi and uh, Mushi and Mishu. Hey, hey, hey. Back for a berry trade? I'll give you one for 60 of those green crystals. Okay, gimme. Sweet. One blue bee coming right up. We got the blue bee. It looks pretty ripe. Bet it tastes good. Ruben was at a museum for middle school kids, but it had cool lights. Farewell, my sweet blue bee. And hello, shiny crystals. The crystals will last longer, probably, so, you know. You got the better end of this bargain. I'm not even going to pretend like it, you didn't, but I need to get back home, and nothing you do bothers me. You are of no concern to me. Hopefully, I will never see you again in my life. Mushi and Mishu. Yeah, they're my other mushroom buddies. That look like me. We start our green crystal collection anew. The water is pretty good looking. Though it renders funny when you get near a waterfall. It renders it renders the front side while you're looking at it from the back. Also, it may look like I'm just aimlessly wandering right now, but if I find the flower that goes into this shrine thing then I can get power-ups like we gain the ability to sprint so far that's it yeah there are a couple of lighters just kind of embedded in walls I'm not sure what the point is they might just be cool decoration. I don't know. Well, that's different. Never mind, we found the purple augmenter. Oh, what a cute little shroomy. But what's it for? Let's go back to that... Tree stump? And see if the weird little worm fungus will teach us how to use this augmenter. Well, well, well. A seeker of the powerful purple crystals. Hello again. I need to read some more hints about those augmenter things. Heh <laughs> heh, very well. Okay, never mind. Maybe we can use it in our menu? Oh, we can use augmenters to change what we look like. That's dumb. I don't feel like doing that. Maybe we find a really cool one. Also, it's been a while since we got any new mushroom facts. But every time we encounter a new species of mushroom, we get mushroom facts.
The green rocks are basically money, so we want to get as many of those as possible. Somewhere in Germany, there is a park, a huge playground. It also has a random, not functioning planes. You can go inside, and one of them has mirrors and lights and music. Sounds pretty cool. We already talked to that guy. We've gotten our other mush. Yeah, our other blueberry. But I just figured I would uh do one more go around just to see what we can find. But now it is time to move on. Probably. Get out of the way, lizard. Erland literally means no man's land. Yeah, you brought me out in the sun. I need darkness. Well, there's plenty of darkness in front of you. Another perfectly shaded tunnel for you to nap in. Hmm. But the one I'm in already is so nice. Venom needs darkness too. And I don't know if I can leave it. But this one's even darker inside. Is it? Uh, yeah. It's got a uh, better angle. You know, from the uh, sun. Ruben is darkness. A fish from the bottom of the ocean where light never dares tread. Okay. I'm convinced. Yeah, get in there. Put your head in a corner. Think about what you've done. I got the thing to move. Dang. You really got rid of that big fella. Not bad for a little mushroom. It wasn't easy. But now everyone can pass through. Yup. Are you gonna check out the other side also? Eh, probably not. Is it a cat or an axolotl? I'm gonna go with this as an axolotl. I'm just gonna keep standing here. It's my favorite thing to do. Just stand here. All day. And all night. I don't even sleep. I just stand here. Uh... That sounds nice. Have fun. Yeah, he's... It looks like an axolotl to me. This guy is a lizard. We can walk inside of him. They didn't put collision on that leg. They put collision on his tail, but not on his legs. Right. Onward with our quest to get back to the island that we come from. Into the darkness and potentially adventure. And some little brown clovers. It's a map! Looks like someone left a map here. I guess they don't need this anymore. Let's take it. purple stuff. Wax cap falls. Hey, look! It's fly agaric. We have a new mushroom to talk about. Amanita Muscaria, which is one of the tags on this stream. At that park that Ruben was talking about, the plane is a bridge, and around the bridge is nothing for like a meter. And around that are mirrors. But between that, lights and music. Sounds shiny. About this mushroom. This species is commonly known as the fly agaric. 
Where does this nickname come from? Well, when combined with milk, this mushroom can be used to kill houseflies. How fascinating! Fly agaric is a well-known species with its iconic red cap and white spots. But there are actually yellow and white variants as well. Samushi says, Hey, these fungi look kind of like me. I wonder if we're related. I gotta catch up with my ancestry. Venom requests the dancing rainbow blob be relocated next to the Octo Crab. It's cool to see yourself eight times. I can move him. That looks good. That looks pretty good. Follow the breadcrumbs back to the main path. So I'm guessing we're going to get a better jump ability. This dude looks kind of like a cat. This nectar sure is good. Hmm? Uh, I don't really eat that kind of stuff. You don't eat nectar, hmm? Nope. How do you live with yourself, hmm? I live my life nectarless. That's a bit weird, don't you think, hmm? Not to us shroomies, really. Hmm. Are you mushrooms good at catching nectar? Hmm? Uh, sure, I guess. Hmm. Could you help fill up this last bucket for me? Hmm. I just need one more as backup nectar. Think you can help me out? Hmm. Sure. Hmm. Thank you, mushroom. I think 15 drops should do it, hmm? Are you asking me or telling me? <laughs> Minecraft village noises. Yes. Good luck! Uh... This is kind of hard. It could be harder, but... That should do it! Why are the bees dropping nectar? No, nope, doesn't worry. Don't worry about it. Oh... This bucket sure is full, hmm? Yup. I tried my best. You are the best. Maybe I should reward you with something, hmm? I came across these green crystals earlier, but there's no nectar in them. So I have no need for them. Maybe you'd like them, hmm? Sure. Hmm. Take some for the road then. Oh, thanks. No, no, no. Thank you! You're a weirdo. Look, there's more green crystals right here. What kind of reward is that? Well, at least this is like a dead end, so we don't have to keep poking around over here. Um, oh look, it's like a clam shell. I think what this needs isn't in this forest. It's like a little freshwater clam. Just the shell, though. Oh, new mushroom. Hygrosibi flavinskins. Flavinsons. Flavin? Flavisons. Hygrosibes is a genus of gilled fungi and are commonly called wax caps, given their waxy appearance. They're quite hard to miss 
and are often brightly colored, such as the yellow Pygrasibi flavincens. Wax caps can be found worldwide with over 150 identified species. Try to catch them all. Smooshy says, seeing mushrooms come in different colors makes me so happy. I used to think flowers are the most colorful things in nature, but not anymore. Us shroomies are beautiful too. Oh, you're a person. Woo! You are killing it! Just stay focused and don't look down! Are you two climbers? Sure are! Oh, are you here for lessons too? I'm kind of in the middle of one right now. But come back later and I can book you in! Uh, lessons for what? Climbing! Oh, um, no thank you. I'm pretty familiar with climbing now. Really? Yup. These rusty hooks have got me around pretty well. Rusty hooks? Sounds like you're in need of an upgrade. What do you mean? Well, rusty hooks will only get you so far. But if you want to climb higher, you'll need some better hooks. And lucky for you, I've got a pair. I'll even knock the price down on them, since you don't want any lessons. Oh, well, I guess I could use an upgrade then. What do you want for them, though? Green crystals, baby! I had a feeling you'd say that. So, new hooks without climbing lessons bundle. That should cost around... Plus one, carry the two... Divide by 19.245, repeating, calculating in my head, hang on. Let's just say 60 green crystals, we got a deal. Deal. Oh, looks like you're short on crystals. But come back when you got at least 60 and the hooks are all yours. So that's how we get out of here. Maple Sanctuary, Restless Stream, Ancient Passage. We're trying to find a river, so Restless Stream seems like- Oh, are those bombs? Those are bombs. Hello, dude. Oh, yeah. Little mushroom fella. Looking for a way out of here, too. Yup. I heard this river leads into a lake. Can we not pass through? Mate, you see how thin them bars are? No way we're getting through there. But, I'm busting through them bars. Yes, we're going to play with bombs now. It's going to be great. With these bad boys. Uh, what are the bad boys? The bombs in front of me, mate. The big boom booms. And they're going to blast a hole through this drain. At least, they will, once I find some more explosive powder. Explosive powder. That's right, mate. These bombs are just empty shells right now. You need to fill them up with explosive powder. Otherwise, these big boom booms will have no boom booms. You picking up what I'm putting down? I think so. Do you know where this explosive powder is? A bunch of rascals got... One in their little clubhouse. It's just this green birdhouse they've taken over. They wouldn't let me in because they're a bunch of punks. Huh. I'm sure I can reason with them. Reason? With those punks? Big boom boobs need more boom. Yes. I don't know about all of that, mate. But I guess it's worth a shot. First, we're gonna look for secrets. Let's 
see here. There's an acorn up there. I'm just gonna leave the acorn. Oh! 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 Um... Okay. Oh? An acorn? Who dropped this down here? Uh, it was me. I'm just a little mushroom. I meant no harm. You have saved me. I have? I thought I saved enough acorns for today. But it turns out I was missing two more. You just brought me one. Now I won't completely starve. Oh. Well, uh, happy to help. Enjoy your acorn. Wait, please, don't leave yet. Oh. Do you need something? Actually, uh, I was wondering if you'd bring me one more acorn? It should be around here somewhere. Uh, sure. I'll keep an eye out for it. Thank you! Now, I was just gonna put it down, but I guess it just kinda happened to roll in here, so... Nice little coincidence, I guess. And stab, 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 stab. We've got enough crystals, we could just, you know, move on with our lives. But that'd be kind of cruel now, letting that dude starve. Pock, pock, carrot candy. Yummy. What is this? Can you remind the robot that Ruben has ADHD and autism, so it should scream? <laughs> I do not control the robot's tone of voice. I didn't really bother with looking at the map before. Let's go try to reason with some punks. Well, first, it's more green. New mushroom. Just dropped. Looks kind of like Hen of the Woods, but not as tasty. Ruben has not one train of thought, he has three on two rails that sometimes crash, and for some reason there's also a helicopter that crashes. This one is Daedalopsis tricolor. This multicolored species is one of many polyphores. Polyphores, often called bracket fungi, are a group of fungi that typically resemble this woody, shelf-like characteristic. This particular species is often mistaken as the famous turkey tail mushroom. A quick way to tell the difference is to check the underside. Turkey tail does not have gills, while this species does. Shroomy says this mushroom seems like a great bed. I can see myself napping on one high up in the trees. Just the thought of it makes me kinda sleepy. Alright, let's go ahead and get ourselves some uh, better climbing abilities. That might come in handy. And then we'll go... try to reason with some punks. If it isn't Rusty Hooks, uh... Not sure how I feel about that nickname. So, Rusty Hooks, ready for that upgrade? 
My offer still stands. Deal. Good choice! We got the sturdy hooks. No longer rusty, but still trusty. <laughs> Scream. Thanks. No problemo. Those babies let you climb even higher. But, uh... Just be careful up there, okay? I'm not responsible for any injuries. Wait, what? Take care! Okay, there's the nectar place, and this is the spot we couldn't climb up earlier. Maple Sanctuary. It's a shovel. It's a living rock. What the? How does Squishy Mushroom get all the way up here? Uh, I just climb my way up? If he was responsible, that would be weird. Yeah, Rock Climber's not known for being very responsible. With your bare hands? Not exactly. I have these hooks that let me... I almost thought you were tough for a second. But it looks like you're just a squishy little squish. And guess what? Uh, what? I don't associate with softy squishies like you. Life is tough. It's, you gotta be tough! Now get out of my sight. Uh, that was really rude. Life is rude. I thought you said life is tough. Would you just... Get out of here, you softy! I'm going in your house. Let's see, stop me. Your house is boring. More vines to cut. Where does this go? It's kind of weird being completely completely unable to look up. Dang. Where do we go from here? Across. And then from here... Not sure what we're getting at. Trying to get to a wind spirit, that's what we're trying to get at. No! <laughs> I just felt oh god. Well, time to do all that again. Waterfall does a secret, maybe. We'll check after we get out of here. trying to be fancy about it. We'll just try to glide straight across from here. Hey, Wind Spirit! Hi there, Forest Wisp. So you're familiar with my kind, yes? Yup. I was given some essence of wind before, 
It's been really helpful. I'm happy to hear that. We always try to help those in need of the forest. After all, life can be difficult. So it is important to go with the flow. And if we can provide this flow, we will do so. Go with the flow, like the wind. Exactly. And speaking of that, please take this essence of wind with you. You got the essence of wind. It seems you already know what this does. So use it wisely on journey. Thank you. Such a cute and peaceful world, world filled with weird and negative creatures. So, since there are others of your kind out there, do you ever get to see them? We come together when the forest calls for it. But until then, we are scattered across nature, carrying the winds that pass through. Whoa. That sounds very mystical, but also very important. Ruben goes with the flow, but sometimes it's like a rough, lazy river. Thank you, Forest Wisp. Okay, now let's not hit the right, wrong button. And go get ourselves some green crystals. No fall damage, because we're just a little guy. We don't weigh enough for gravity to be a threat. That was productive. There doesn't seem to be any secrets behind this waterfall. Does seem to be some kind of guy here. We need to get up to him. We'll talk to him in a second. First, mushroom time. Exodoporus frosty. Commonly known as the apple boleta, this species is easily recognized by its sticky red cap and network-like pattern on its stripe. It's stipe. I guess a stipe is the stem on a mushroom. I'm not very much of a mushroom guy. Like many other mushrooms, this balote changes colors when cut or bruised, specifically to a bluer tone. But when young, it exudes amber-colored drops on the pore's surface. Smooshy says, scientists call this an apple balote? Doesn't look like an apple, though. If anything looks like, uh, like, uh, okay, I give up as an apple. Ruben just sees it as he hits his head five times in a lazy river and a cartoon sound effect plays. Venom remembers we used to use the water jets at lazy rivers to boost up ahead further and gain more speed. Why? Because going fast is fun. And going faster than your friends is more fun. Someone left this here. Ancient Incense, White Sage brand. Hello, a flying mushroom. Must be my lucky day. In Belgium, there's a water park that has a very fast, lazy river. You can get stuck. Do they advertise this? World's fastest lazy river. It ain't lazy. You are. Uh, yep, that's me. Looking for some wind essence. Yeah, I actually am. Because I've got none. Wait, really? But aren't you a forest wisp? I've gotten wind essence from your kind before. Nah. I mean, I am a forest wisp. Venom remembers a massive water slide park in Montenegro. 
that had a 20 meter tall and like basically 90 degree drop on the biggest one and he almost drowned and got three heart attacks from taking it. Yeah, you count me out on that. I'm not doing that. The Belgian very fast water park doesn't really advertise. They just, you get to spin around. I've used all my wind essence on something way cooler. What's that? A gliding game. And it's the perfect game for fellow flyers like you. Hmm. How do you play? All you gotta do is glide through every wind loop and make it to the end without falling once. Want to give it a try? Yeah, sure. All right. Oh, don't freak out, but I'm taking away your wind essence for the game. Wait, what? It's just to make things fair, okay? Your gliding won't last very long, but each time you pass through a wind loop, your gliding stamina goes back up. Huh. And you get a little boost. Hehe. <laughs> Alright, fine. Yes! I believe in you. There was one that had several waves where you would have a little air time. That sounds dangerous. It sounds like Todd Kid bounced through that and eventually bumped so high he just flew down into the pool and hit himself. In the other theme park, water park that Ruben's talking about, there are two slide parts. And there's some drops. Alright. Is that it? Is that the game? We did it? Woohoo! Venom's pretty sure that park violated several European safety guidelines with big slides. It's kind of scary how many water park slides are just designed by people that are like, Yeah, that looks good. That looks close enough. They even call the biggest one Tornado Kamikaze. Yeah, that's... yep. Really inspires confidence in their safety record. I can't believe a flying mushroom just beat the first level. Uh, thanks? You know, you've got some skills there with that glider. Maybe you've got the skills for my next level. Want to give it a try? Sure. All right. So we're landing in the same spot. Sue them and get poorer. I think I did it. You did good out there, but it looks like you missed some wind loops. Remember, you have to pass through all of them. Want to give it another go? Sure. I missed one that time. He really spent all of his wind on this wind course. Mushroom! You were amazing out there! Thanks. I'm starting to get the hang of it now, I think. Hmm. I wasn't sure if you'd be ready, honestly. But you've proven me wrong. I think you have what it takes to take on my final level. You ready? I'm ready. All right! Where are we landing? Oh, this goes for a while, doesn't it?
No! Okay, this one's actually a little hard. Ruben was the person that throws the ball with the softball, and he told people stupid things that were true of them, that were positive. Let's try again. Have fun shrooming around. This is pretty good. This is a pretty good game. It's apparently pretty short, too, but... That's okay sometimes. There we go. Second try. Someone believes in you. Raven remembers being the best at that position in the team. The position of throwing balls at people and telling them positive things about themselves? It's good practice for positivity. I don't believe it. I mean, I was already impressed when I saw a flying mushroom. But then you went and beat every single level. You might be the best glider I've ever seen. Oh, well, thanks. I guess it just takes practice. I'm convinced you are a super mushroom. Get it? Because it looks like a Mario super mushroom. Let me give you even more power. Uh, what power? The super essence. You got the super essence. It's essence, but super. Now my glider can boost. Sick. Whoa. What does it do? Whenever your glider stamina is fully recharged, you'll get a little boost once it opens. Oh, just like your game. Exactly. They fail to hit them three times or hit them not that far, and they get tagged. Ah, okay, so you're killing them with positivity. Got it. Mind games. This isn't something us forest wisps give out so easily. But you've proven yourself worthy, my flying mushroom friend. Aw, he says I'm his friend. Thanks so much. No, no, no. Thank you for playing my game. It's also more green rocks over here. While we were flying. To my greedy little mushroom. Whoa. Cool, fire. Oh. He says thank you, and that you have a cool mushroom cap. Uh, who exactly said that? The fire did, of course. The fire spoke. His name is Steve. He's a little shy, so he only talks to me, really. Hello, Steve. He says hello. So, uh, did you create Steve? Sure did. He just turned one week old, actually. You've been keeping this fire going all week. Oh, yeah. Just gotta keep feeding Steve. Fires love eating wood. Makes him happy, right, Steve? Aw, oh, you're my best friend, too. How'd you make such a huge fire? Well, Steve started out pretty small. I just used my fire starter to get things going. Then Steve told me he was hungry, so I grabbed more wood for him. And here we are. You created Steve with a fire starter. Yup. It's just some flint and steel that you rub together to spark. OMG, it's just like Minecraft. Do it fast enough and boom! Whoa. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. In fact, I could give you a fire starter kit if you'd like. Maybe you could use it to create a Steve of your own. I don't know about creating Steve, but that might come in handy. What do you want for it? 60 crystals. Steve and I have been really into these green crystals lately. Got any of those? 
Yup. Yes! Okay, okay. We'll give you a fire starter kit in exchange for 30 of those cool green crystals. Here you go. Flavo! Flint and steel can make sparks. Wow, science! Ribbon just has to grab the ball and tag them in a second before they realize that they hit it or failed. How do I use this fire starter thingy? It's actually pretty easy. If you rub the flint and steel together, you'll create sparks. But you've got to do it really fast. Just keep that in mind when you use it. Sounds easy enough. Thank you, too. No problem. There's supposed to be another acorn around here. Well, let's light the fires, because video games. If we light all the fires, something will happen. Maybe it'll be something good, maybe it'll be something bad. There must be one more somewhere. Video game logic says it should be over here somewhere, but I don't see it. Oh look, more purple crystals. One kid was like, Hey teacher, did that count? And before they finished their sentence, Ruben tagged them. Nice. Mind. Games. There it is. Oh, and another. Uh, more of that upgrade essence. Cool. Sure. I'll take it. Four of energy. I guess we can sprint more now. Not the best prize, but not terrible either. Before we got completely distracted, we found the birdhouse we were supposed to be going to. It was somewhere over this direction. Before we got dist completely distracted, hey, yellow mushroom. Cantharellus cebarius. Commonly known as the... Urail or Chanterelle, this species is a highly prized, fragrant, edible mushroom. They're often grouped together and are known to have a scent that is somewhat apricot-like. So be sure to stop and smell the Chanterelles. Smooshy says, mmm, these mushrooms smell really good, and they're edible too. Oh no, what am I thinking about? The game before that, kid got tagged out. The other kid did it, the ball throwing, and he was horrible. They told me to do it, and we got a double game. If you're into the game and you get to do more of it, sure. Good times. Let's go and negotiate with terrorists. Oh, y'all are rocks. Hi, rock. Um, excuse me? Could you please step aside? I think I see something in there that I need. Password. 
Oh. Uh, what password? Yeah. You're definitely not a member. Uh. I don't think I am, but can I? Initiation of new members ended last season. Last season. So get lost. Whoa. That's so rude. We got a strict policy here, all right? Okay, but the only way to be a club member is to know the secret password. The only way to know the password is to be initiated. So no password, no entry, very simple. Can I at least peek inside? Not without the flipping password, Mushroom! Psst. Hey, Mushroom, over here. Are you gonna yell at me too? Oh, sorry about that. Our leader is a real dingus. I, uh, wanted to help, actually. Double game super great. The other kid... The other kid sucked, failed to stand up and pick the ball up. The runner was halfway when he picked up the ball. Oh, there's supposed to be a period there. The other kid sucked. He failed to stand up and pick the ball up. The runner was halfway when he picked up the ball. Listen, you're not going to get in there without knowing our secret password. And our current leader definitely won't give it to you. But the founder of our club still knows the password. She might give it to you. Oh? She sounds important. But where is this club founder exactly? That's sort of the problem. She abandoned the club a long time ago. Then that dingus over there declared himself the leader. That's so unfair. Tell me about it. I haven't seen our club's founder ever since that day. But I've heard rumors of someone living near Maple Sanctuary. I think I met her before. But she, uh... Basically kicked me off her property? Oh, uh, that sounds like her. She's tough as mushrooms. Mushrooms? Wait, no, that's not right. She's tough as dingus. What is... even is that? But she shows respect to those that can prove themselves. How am I supposed to do that? Um... Go back and talk to her again. But this time, mention the club. Maybe she'll reason with you then. I guess I can try that. Thanks. So back to the mush the rock lady. The little flowers on her hair, that's how you know she's a girl. Oh, Redick, sprint. I learned about your club. The squishy is back. I thought I told you already. Wait, you look kind of familiar. Oh no. You wouldn't happy to be a member of that club. No, no, no. Do not associate me with that club. I retired all right, and I refuse to take care of those softies. That was the only sport Ruben was good at for a whole year. Do they just not play it anymore? Is that what happens? Or did you get not good at it? Life is tough. So you gotta be tough. But they never understood that, so I left what I started. So you are the founder. Maybe you can help me then. Huh, <laughs> help you get tougher? Not exactly. I just really need to learn that secret password. It's my only way of getting back home. There's this explosive powder inside the clubhouse. I'm getting over you one step closer to finding a way home. Huh. So you're just a lost little squish then. Yup. We played it for the last five weeks. Well, I guess gym class has to change what you're playing every once in a while, right? I was taken from my home. I'm just trying everything I can to make it back. Alright, alright, I've heard enough. 
So you want the secret password, huh? Yes. Prove me you're worthy of it, then. How? Remember what I said earlier? Life is tough! And that club is only for tough folk! You just need... You just seem like a soft squishy squish. But hey, prove me wrong, and the secret password is yours. Alright. He he he. Follow me, little squish. Looting? What? Welcome to my obstacle course. How did you... Listen up. You've got no glider or hooks. Just pure toughness. And only tough folk make it to the end of this obstacle course. This seems a little intense. Stop being so soft. Okay, okay. Make it to the end of this course and I'll give you that password. Prove me wrong, little squish. Oh boy. Enable assist mode from the pause menu at any time if you like an easier version of this challenge. That doesn't exactly inspire confidence. Now really, it's only short jumps that are difficult in this game. And this is the kind of jump that's actually difficult. Okay, this isn't too bad. Not yet. That's kind of cute. And then, like, now do it, but harder. And now the platforms are moving. All right, I say we've proved ourselves pretty tough at this point. Missed a cycle. Hey lady, we did it. You... You actually did it! Ruben was only good at the softball game, not the training. Yeah, you can't really do mind games in training. Phew! I never doubted you, little squishy. I, it kind of sounded like you did. Come on, come on. Let's get out of here. You really proved me wrong, little squish. It's like I always say. Life is tough. You, you know, maybe I am soft and squishy. Hmm? But, I don't mind. I'm happy with who I am. Tough or soft, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I think there's times for both. But maybe being brave is what's important. I didn't finish your obstacle course because I was tough. I finished it because I was brave. Dang. Nobody has ever put it like that. Maybe you're right about all this. I always thought being tough would get me through life. I made that whole club based on that bit, but it just fell apart. I think you deserve this more than anyone. 
We got the secret password. It's so secretive. Maybe I should fold this? Whoa. It's so secretive. Just don't let anyone see that, okay? It's safe with me. Listen, uh, what you said really spoke to me. I think I gotta stop pretending like I'm tough all the time. I'm gonna try and be more brave. You can do it. Thanks, little squish. And come back anytime. I've got an even more difficult obstacle course for you if you want to try still. I'm good. I'm also out of water. So I'm gonna go get some more water. And while I'm up, I'm gonna go pee. And I'll be back in like a minute. Ruben remembers telling everyone, some believe in you. Only in Dutch, which sounds more stupid. <laughs> Probably your mom, but someone. It's fun how a stupid platitude that's super common in Japanese sounds really dumb in English, and then, like, we all realized, oh, wait, but in other languages, it sounds even dumber. But yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I am back. Resume the game. So, we've got our password. Now we just need to go... Talk to the club again. Go up in the club. Gonna club a seal in the club. I kind of want to find that other acorn so that the person in the hole doesn't starve, but it really isn't my problem. You want to give me some more essence? Hello. Well, well, well. What an interesting little mushroom. Uh, thanks. Something seems different about you. Perhaps you've received the essence of wind. Yes, I have. Some other forest wisp gave it to me. Ah, I see. 
Seems the spirit of the forest is with you, little mushroom. It trusts you with our strength. Whoa. I've never met them before. Perhaps they are watching over you, then. But I see your glider could be strengthened, strengthened even further. So you may have some of my essence of wind. Looks kind of like a fart. Thank you. I promise to take good care of this, uh, essence -y stuff. Bop. How was my day? I was glad because the school board is closed on Fridays in the summer, so I don't have to worry about them calling me. I was less glad that I woke up at like 8 o'clock in the morning. It's kind of weird how I've been waking up later these last couple days. Less like last week, basically. Rock, rock, rock. Um, rock, rock. Rock, 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 rock! Right. Did they call you yesterday? Yeah. The stream ended kind of early because someone from Human Resources wanted to talk to me. She's like, if you got any questions, just call me. And so I called her and I had a question and she was like, I can't answer that question. You gotta call this other lady. I'm back. I've already told you. Before you yell at me, I have the secret password. So you have to recruit me now. How did you... I spoke to the founder of your club. She just gave it to you? That traitor. No, I earned it. Just like all of you did. You mean, you actually made it through her obstacle course? Yup. Wow. Nobody but her has actually made it through the course. I guess I was completely wrong about you. Well, try not to judge others so quickly. And maybe be more nice to those around you? Those are the qualities of a good leader. A good leader. Maybe I haven't been so good after all. I'll do better. I want to be more honorable like you. Good. Well, I hear my welcome. Wait, what's your name? Smooshy? Ahem. I hereby welcome member Smooshy. Finally. You've earned it, Smooshy. Go on in and check out the clubhouse. So yeah, I talked to them yesterday. Ended up talking to like the head of Human Resources. Scheduled a meeting with them on Tuesday, so I might be back I'll probably be back in time to do the stream normal time of Tuesday, but we'll see. We got the gunpowder. Better not bring this near a fire. He's gonna need more gunpowder, I'm sure. Oi, what's the situation? I found some explosive powder. Are you serious? I've got something we can light it with, too. Well, let's not waste any time then, mate. Human resources, the head of human resources. So, a head in a chest of organs. Aren't we all just a head on top of a chest with some organs? Run! Doesn't seem to have done it. It actually worked. Looks like we cracked it a good bit. Darn right we did, mate. I bet one more big boom boom will finish this. Just need all another explosive powder is all. So... Any ideas on where I can find the last explosive powder? Mate, 
I searched everywhere for some. But there's just one spot I couldn't check. The cryptic caverns, blah blah blah. The what now? It's a cave nearby that could have it. But mate, it's insanely dark in there. Two steps in and I have to leave because I stubbed my foot. Hmm. Maybe I can explore it somehow. I'll see what I can do, so sit tight. Step, 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 Oh, look, it's the other acorn. Let's go keep that whatever it is in the hole from starving. He stubbed his feet on an active chainsaw. I don't think it would be called stubbing your foot on an active chainsaw. That would be losing your foot. Ouch! Oh, wait! Yes! Mushroom! Are you there? Yeah, it's me. Sorry. I guess I dropped it right on your head. No, you're fine! I was basically asking for it because I'm sitting right under the hole. But thanks for bringing me the last one. No problem. Before you go, I dug around and found this. It tasted awful. You know, you're right, Ruben. He does not have feet, so he might have stubbed his foot on a chainsaw. Abbreviated the story a little bit. Chivo. Now we can run for a little bit longer. Hey, look, the weird purple guy's here. Well, well, well. A seeker of the powerful purple crystals. Hello again. I need to read some hints on these augmenter thingies. Hehehe, <laughs> very well. Oh, hey, so it's like a bunch of different honey. Nectar's golden hue drives the crazy one through and through. Yeah, we're not going to worry too much about augments. actually sprint a pretty good deal. You know a way to see in the dark? Um, hello. Howdy. What's the little mushroom like you doing around here? Oh, I'm just looking for a way back home. I was thinking of checking out this cave, actually. Do you know anything about it? Oh, boy. Um... Mushroom, oh mushroom. That cave right there is advanced darkness. We're talking pitch black, baby. Just talking about it gets me all spooked. Have you tried going in there yourself? Heck yeah, I tried. But my torch just wasn't bright enough for me to see. Best to stay away from it, little mushroom. Ruben wants a room in a cave. I'd be afraid of mold if I lived in a room in a cave. Trust me. But I've got to at least try. Isn't there something brighter I could use to light the way? Hmm. Something brighter. Oh! Hang on now. I got a little invention I can whip up. It ought to do just the trick. Oh, well, thanks. But you gotta get me the main piece for me to make it. I get it myself, but I ain't got the skills to climb up there. Um, what exactly do you need? A big old light bulb. There's one way above us that came loose and fell off a while ago. Thinking you can get it for old Riley? I think I can get it. I'll be back. One. One single solitary. Oh, there we go. 
That's what we're doing. There is a lamp here that you can turn off outside Ruben's room, but it shines in this room and it keeps him awake. I thought you were, like, into having lights shining on you while you sleep. You found a container of lights! This thing contains lights? Is it magic? Why did I think that? Because of the uh, nightlight thing you posted yesterday. Howdy, little shroomy. Were you able to find the light bulb? Yup. You're kidding me. You got some skills, tell you what. Now just give me a sec here while I craft this beauty. Ruben's room has triple sun block. The room that I sleep in is the same. I've got all the windows blacked out there as best I can. I need it to be super dark and cold to sleep. We got the headlamp! I am one with the light. Whoa! This is cool! This baby will light your way up in the cave. And keep your hands free. Thanks so much. Shoot. I'm just happy I gotta make... Gotta finally make the thing. Had the idea forever, just never got the main ingredient. But just be careful in that there cave. Okay, I'll be careful. Advanced darkness. Here we go. Ruben likes light when he's awake. Ooh, we got like I like I like this shad the shading effect they're doing here. Okay, well that was the dumb way up. I could have just got find those bricks. This place is full of advanced darkness. How are clovers growing in here? No, this actually is pretty impressive looking. I, I like this lighting effect a lot. It's been a while since I played a game where I just thought about a lighting effect. Candy treats. Chungy gummy. Or is it Hungry Gummy? It's Chungy Gummy. Looks like there's Poon Poon on it. Uh... Looks like someone left a note here. Christian Mushroom, he is one with the light. Read the note. This cave continues to puzzle me. Shortly after entering it, I came across this artifact. I wish I knew its purpose. But it's functionality appears to be locked. I believe a specific code must be entered to activate it. I've tried several patterns now, with no success. Perhaps the code is lying around here somewhere. Oh well. I'm gonna try to find another way forward. To those who may be reading this, good luck. That guy said his torch didn't light anything, but... My torch is lighting things pretty well. Sorry, he gave me his name. Old Riley? Okay, so that's the first button. So, one, three... One, three, one, three, three, one, three, three, 
one. Well, that was easy to brute force. We didn't have to brute force it. How about this? Maybe I had fun brute forcing it, huh? I think about that. I was like, why is he just standing there? It's a little guy. My love, forgive me. We'll never be together again. Hello. Wah! Oh. You are not my love. I, uh... No. You must be thinking of someone else. Yes. We traveled through the caves together. But then, it happened. Ah, uh, what exactly happened? The caves separated us. It doesn't want us to be together. Sounds like you two were pretty lost. Is this what you want, caves? For me to die alone? Calm down. You're not gonna die alone. You just need to get out of here first. How? This cave put a giant boulder here just to trap us. Actually, I just cleared the way out. What? But how? Fire. I blew through the boulder with a bomb. Did you seriously not hear that loud explosion just now? My cries must have been so strong they overpowered it. For my love, she is gone. Well, I'm still exploring this cave, so maybe I'll find her while I'm here. You mean, we could still be reunited? Yup. Ha ha ha! Take that, cave! You cannot keep us separated forever! Uh, yeah, you tell him. Just keep making your way down until you see the exit. And if I find her, I'll tell her to meet you outside. I'm forever in your debt, my fellow mushroom. I don't have much to give, but please take this as my thanks. Energy Spore. Cave just dropped a boulder on him. He didn't have to give me anything, but uh, thanks anyway. It's the least I can do for my savior. Now off I go. Away from this wretched cave. Be careful. So was I supposed to find this place some other way? Okay, now... Now we'll ride the piston to the top. Let's see what that gets us. Doesn't seem to have gotten us anything. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, I haven't explored here yet. Do I think those mushrooms in the lake died? Nah, they're probably fine. On second thought, I don't remember there being very much dead wood for them to eat. So they might have starved by now without Shmooshy to find them food and things.
One is like 5v. The only 5v I know... Isn't that 8 volts, Mom? From WarioWare? Oh, look, we got some spooky robo Jesus That I can push. Looks like someone left a note here. One is like five years old. Ah, oh, yes, because that's a pet ladybug. I don't know much about the lifespan of mushrooms. But I'm just gonna go off on a limb here and say what counts as living and dying for a mushroom is probably weird. Because just about everything else I've ever learned about mushrooms has been weird. As if something was disturbed here. And I believe the statues are the disturbed. Dis disrupt are the disrupted. Whatever. Perhaps they were arranged in a specific way before. I thought about pushing them back myself, but I'm a bit scared to touch them. I'm not superstitious, but maybe just a little. So I'll leave these be and find another way out. Yeah, I probably want them all, like, facing a little... Prayer hands towards the center. The pushing physics in this aren't the worst, but they aren't... They're not the best either. That was weird. <laughs> Reusing this asset again. That's like the third time we've seen it. Just a cozy little secret. This isn't looking too good for me. That drain seems to be the only exit. But I can't swim down to it. There seems to be a pipe that leads on as well. But it's also buried underwater. There might be a way to shut this water off, but I haven't confirmed this yet. What a messy situation I'm in. So, just like every other problem in this game so far, the solution is go up. One green rock. Ah, ah, ah. Not exactly sure that my little shroom guy can turn that, but there he goes. Shroom is strong. Let's check this out first. Then we'll oh. This is a maze. Maze time. No corn, just maze. Doesn't 
doesn't look like there's anything else here. Okay, that doesn't go anywhere, and that doesn't seem to go anywhere. So I'll just keep on trucking through here. Hey! New mushrooms! We found secret mushrooms! Mycena chlorophos. Mycena chlorophos is truly an extraordinary species with its rare bioluminescent property. Thank you, Reuben. Its beautiful glow doesn't last as long as you'd hope, persisting for roughly three days as it gradually fades in strength. So admire this fascinating species while you can. Shmoosy, yeah, Smooshy is officially jealous of these guys. I want a glowing mushroom cap. Well, I guess this headlamp is kind of counts. Yeah, so usually the mushroom part of the mushroom, what we think of as a mushroom, is just a reproductive organ that they temporarily grow. So most of the time, these things probably live as just like little strings underground. And it's only when they want to release their spores that they put up these glowing caps. something over there, but not really. Oh, hey, bomb. <laughs> what kind of unpleasant voice will I give this one? <laughs> Doesn't... Oh, there, there, there's your face. Oh, my goodness. An angel. What am I teaching? I am teaching high school. I'm gonna be teaching high school ecology. But they kind of somehow worked some earth science into it now on the new curriculum. I don't know. I'll figure it out as I go along. Uh, I'm just a mushroom. Nonsense. Are you currently lighting away in darkness? Yes. High school students are the worst. Good luck. I've dealt with both. I can... I'll, I'll work. I'll make it work. Are you rescuing me from my doom? I guess so. What grade slash year? I think mostly it's gonna be ninth graders. But I also was told that some of the classes are like a mix. So I really have no idea. They're kind of being, uh inconsistent with the details of what this job is going to really look like. They're kind of just desperate for someone to fill it. Did you blow a hole in that boulder with your angel superpowers? No, there was a bomb. You're an angel. Well, I... Thank you so much for coming to me. But my love is lost in this cave, too. He's very slow and needs our help. Oh, don't worry. I found him earlier, actually. He should be waiting for you outside. So you're his angel, too. Combo angel. I knew it. Yes. I'm a combo angel. Amazing. I don't know if your kind uses these, but please take it with my thanks. It's blue like the ocean. Wait, I've never seen the ocean. Uh, thanks. I hope I get to see you soon, my angel. Yeah, American High School is the last four years, but the thing is, the school I'm working at it's basically like a combined middle school, high school. Because I live in the middle of nowhere. And so there aren't enough kids to have a separate school for the middle school and the high school. 
Anyway. I think we got I think we gotta make ourselves blue. Blue like the ocean. We are blue now. I knew we'd find one eventually that was worth it. Please stop. With the weird voices? Or with the doxing myself? Oh yeah, what were we in this cave to find gunpowder? More doxing yourself, less high school. Oh, hey, there's some shinies up there. I wasn't sure if this was somewhere I'd already been or not for a second there, but I think this is a new area. Raven probably has enough tinfoil to find me now, but he's not going to. Whee! Uh, gunpowder. Better not bring this near fire. Sorry, I thought I saw mushrooms in the water here. I did not. But we did find some money. A very tiny amount of money. Tinfoil is a pretty crazy way for the game to auto... Or not game. Your phone? iPad? I don't know. To autocorrect. I don't remember us going up that much. So going down these drains to get out seems a little strange. But here we are, we're out. These two weirdos again. Our savior returns. Our angel returns. Uh, good to see you both made it out. Oh, brave mushroom. It is all thanks to you that we are reunited. Indeed, my love and I were torn apart. A fate I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. But now we're together forever. And we are never going into a cave ever again. Yeah, maybe it's best if you two avoid those. Alright, we've gotten our materials to make another bomb. I'm back, inexplicably Australian shroom. Oi! Those cracked bars are taunting me. Like they're ready to break, but just needs one more big boom boom. Well, I found one more explosive powder. You found it! Mate, you're the best! Hopefully this finishes the job. It will! It will! Let's get this show on the road! And... Big Boom Boom? That one felt like it took a while. I can't rush quality, I guess. It's... It's broken! We did it! Ooh, yeah, baby! I can finally get to the lake on the other side. 
My home. It could be there. I hope it is, mate. I couldn't have busted through that drain without you. But now, I'm free. When back in the Dutch, Ruben is going to a thrift store for trash. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I hope you find what you're looking for. Thanks, mate. That loading zone is so close to where you can clip onto the wall. It makes me suspect that there might be a way to... Maybe sequence break there. And we're back up to 50 crystals. Ten more and we can buy whatever junk is in this area. Oh, those aren't weird rocks, those are capybaras. Alright. What's going on with you two? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, hello, friends. Hopefully you find cool things at the thrift store indeed. That's the fun of going, is you don't know what you're gonna find. My name is Smooshy. You know what you did! Yeah! How could you? I seriously don't know what you two are talking about. Can you believe this guy? I'm embarrassed to be related to you. Alright, well, you refused to hang out with me earlier. Because I was busy. Yeah, right. You're probably replacing me with someone cooler. Is it this little mushroom? Uh, wait, no. I don't even know who that- And you destroyed my sandcastle! I worked so hard on it! Okay, I actually remember doing that, but like I said, it was an accident, and I'm really sorry. I don't forgive you! Me neither! Come on, you guys! Have fun with your new friend! I'm gonna find one on my own, since you're so busy! And I'm gonna go rebuild my sandcastle! Far away from you! Um... Are you okay? <sighs> I'm fine, yeah. Sorry you had to see that. They're just... really sensitive. I know the feeling. You've got siblings too. Yup, there's four of us. Oh. Are they not with you? Um, not exactly. I was taken from them not too long ago. What? That's awful. It's okay. It's been a long journey through the forest, but I think I'm close to my home. Do you live nearby? Uh, I think so? I live on an island, so I think it's around here. Hmm... Does this island have trees? Yup. Big red ones. Big red trees. I think I know where that is. It's kind of far, but I can definitely take you there. Really? That would be great. He wants 30 green crystals, doesn't he? Yup. But, um... Do you think you could help me handle some that issue I just had back here? You mean with your siblings? Yeah. I'm not the best big brother when it comes to this stuff. And well, you seem like you're good with family, so... Do you think you could help me out? Oh, sure. Really? My siblings can get in fights sometimes, so I think I can help you out. Wow. You're a real cool mushroom. I promise to help you find your home afterwards. Sounds good to me. It looks like they ran off to different islands around the lake. Hop on my back, and we can go look for them. 
Yeah, let's just stick to the main path. Oh, we can just latch onto him. <laughs> That's the purple guy. This stream is long. What the? What are you doing here? Uh, listen. I just came to talk. Don't want to hear it. But, no, thank you. Bam! Get out of my face. How come you're so angry with your brother? I just wanted to hang out with him. Soak under the sun. Have a picnic. I had the whole day planned out. What happened? He said he was too busy. Can you believe that? Well, uh, he's here now. Maybe you guys can have that picnic after all. Yeah. Nope. Too late. He lost his chance. I've made a new friend who's cooler, smarter, and wants to hang out. Where is this friend? Oh. Uh. Did you eat him? No, I didn't eat them. We were gonna have a picnic, okay? So they went to find some food in that secret cave. But they haven't come back out yet. There's a secret cave nearby? Pretty sure, yeah. Apparently it's hidden underwater. My friend knows how to dive, so they went looking for it. But I haven't seen them since they went underwater. Um, that's concerning. And I didn't find food to bring to my own picnic. This is a disaster. Stop freaking out. Um... <laughs> Ruben still has like three hours left. I heard this game takes about three hours to beat, and I'm pretty sure we're in the last area, so we'll probably be done here in about an hour. Probably. Everyone relax. I have a plan. What are you thinking? I'll go look for that lost friend in that underwater cave. And you find some food to bring for your brother's picnic. Oh. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. You guys are gonna help me? Yup. I'll find your friend. And I'll find something we can eat. Then we can all have a picnic together? Yup. Okay. I like this plan. But Smooshy, can you dive underwater? Oh, right. I guess I can't do much if the secret cave is underwater. My friend said they learned how to dive nearby. Apparently, he found a water sensei. I guess we can go find this sensei? Sounds good to me. Ruben really hopes this game isn't like the text amount in his last social science project. There is a lot of text in this game. More than I was expecting. We'll be back, little bro. Okay. Water Sensei. I don't think I can climb up that. Worth a shot, though. Oh, that's neat. Right, so we gotta find Water Sensei. Could be it. Divers Locus. 
Will you teach me how to dive? Weird looking frog man. First question, one paragraph. Last question, two words. Dude, find anything rad in the water today? Uh, like underwater? Yeah, dude. It's a beautiful day for diving. Oh, uh, I can't really breathe underwater. So I guess I've never checked down there. What? Dude, of course you can breathe underwater. Anyone can. Really? <laughs> totally, dude. All you need is some water essence. Sounds like you don't have any, do ya? I've never even heard of that before. What's it do? Dude, it's like the coolest thing ever. You take it, plop it on one of our shrines, and bada bing bada boom, the spirit of the forest lets you breathe underwater. Whoa. Sounds pretty magical. Totally is, dude. The spirit of the forest, one magical dude. I've got some water essence you can have. Normally, I teach little dudes how to swim and dive, but if you just need water essence, I'll give it to you for 20 green crystals. We got a dealio. Yes. A. Good choice, little dude. You found the essence of water. This will let me dive underwater. I'm aquatic. We are slowly becoming a crab. The carcinogate. The carcin. Cancerization? Crabification has begun. So this will let me swim underwater? Totally, dude. Just gotta use one of our shrines and the spirit of the forest to do the rest. How nice of the forest. The forest is the chillest dude ever. And hey, if you decide to use our shrine here, you should totally come chat with me again. I've got a little challenge for you to try. So that's what these freshwater clam thingies are. Hey look, it's a little dude learning how to swim. Hello! Hi there! Are you here for the diving lessons too? You could be my partner! Oh. I'm not actually... sorry. Oh. But it looks like you're doing really good on your own. Really? Yeah. You've, uh, got really good form. Thanks! This is the longest I've been able to swim. How long has it been? 15 minutes! Whoa! You're like a professional now. Hehe. <laughs> I'm a professional swimmer. All right, let's go. Can I tell a story? Nah, not right now. You're back. Did you find the water sensei? Yup. I should be able to activate this shrine now. So that secret cave is underwater? That's what my friend said. Hopefully the secret cave isn't so secretive. I'm sure I'll figure it out. So you think you can find my friend? Yup. And your brother is going to go find some food for your picnic. Oh, right. I guess I'll go do that. Sit tight, little bro. Okay. Let's see how this goes. I can sing, but my voice is starting to get a little tired already from just reading all these lines. Ooh, what's this red thing? I'm gonna guess it goes there. 
We found a new mushroom! Cythralia aquatica. So, you thought fish were the only guild species found underwater. Think again! Cythalia aquatica is an aquatic guild fungus, and the only known one at that. Scientists are quite perplexed with the species. Normally, mushrooms reproduce via spores that are released and carried by wind. So how would spores from this species get carried upstream? The answer remains a mystery to this day. Smooshy, I don't believe it. An aquatic mushroom. How is it doing this? Why is it doing this? I have so many questions, but for now I'll just stare and admire. Okay, he's already got one, so we need to find another creepy statue to give our pink pearls to. There's one. Is that mushroom a species, or is fish not a species? The mushroom is the species, and fish are also a species of things that have gills. Well, large, very large group of species of things that have gills. It's a joke about how the little foldy looking parts on the bottom of a mushroom are called gills, even though they're not used for breathing. Okay, secret cave. More of this cool lighting effect. It wasn't just a one-time thing. Now I just gotta find the uh, new friend. A new friend that can breathe underwater. Oh! Okay. Stab, 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 stab. Check that other direction real quick. It looks like a dead end. But it might not be. And now I am ever so slightly lost. That's the way we came in, I think. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, keep on going. Gonna find a way out of here. And hopefully find the little dude is lost in here. I assume he's a little dude. There he is. Holy mushroom! Are you an angel? Here to save me? Ah, uh, no, I'm just a mushroom. But I came here looking for you, actually. Are you stuck? Yes! Please save me! It sucks down here. 
Well, what happened? I was just exploring around. I noticed the exit across this trench. But when I jumped across, my climbing hooks broke. The tragedy. Whoa. Calm down, okay? I'm here to help. I just need to figure out a way to pull you up. There's got to be something around here you can use. Please hurry. I'm losing my mind down here. How long have you been stuck down here? Like 20 minutes! Just sit tight. I'll see if I can find some rope to pull you up with. Please, tell me you figured out how to get me out of here. Uh, just sit tight. I'm sure there's rope around here. So, time to climb. buttons. Oh, I can latch on to that. You would think the metal would be too hard. They are pretty big on giving me these caves now, since they can't really keep up with the sort of open world thing they were doing. There's the button. We kind of bonked onto it. Here we go. That seems like a way out, not a way to get rope. Maybe it'll be a boss arena of some sort. Nah, that didn't seem like it's in the spirit of this game. Um... Oh, you look like a dude who might be of some help. Hmm... This acorn is almost done. Just need to sprinkle a little delicious seasoning on there. I can roast another one for you if you'd like. Oh, no thanks. I'm kind of in a hurry, actually. I have a friend who's trapped in that cave. So I was hoping I'd find some rope to rescue them. Oh, I've got some rope around here. But I kind of use it to gather my delicious seasoning. Uh, what's this, uh, seasoning stuff? Um... I don't really know what it is, honestly. I found it growing in the water. And I'm a go-with-the-flow kind of guy. So I tried tasting it, and now I can't eat anything without it. Just thinking about it, even. Hmm, delicious seasoning. Uh, maybe we can help each other. Would you need that rope if I got you more of this seasoning stuff? You mean do all the hard work for me? In exchange for my rope? I like the sound of that. I usually scoop some by lowering a bucket in the water with my rope. But you're probably a better swimmer than me. 
So I'd say just grab that bucket and dive in there to scoop some. So we gotta activate this shrine. And just swim around and gather all this stuff in a bucket. This is not going as well as it could, but I guess it could also go worse, so... Two-thirds there. Almost got it now. Four more. And here you go, weirdo. Your delicious green seasoning. Maybe it's mushroom spores, I don't know. Looks like I got enough of that, uh, delicious seasoning. Mmm, I can already taste it. Thanks, little mushroom. No problem. Is it alright if I have that rope now? Uh, it's all yours. You got the string. Thank you, and, uh, enjoy your seasoning. Hmm, you know I will. I'm gonna take your rocks. Now, how do I get back up to where I came in? That's a... issue. Just rope. Maybe this way, we'll... Because I remember there being a door somewhere... Oh! I remember there being a door somewhere close to where the dude fell in that hole. Maybe this will be a shortcut, though. Please! Tell me you figured out how to get me out. And <laughs> just rob the guy. Hey, he... He set up the, uh, the parameters of that deal. I just went along with it. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! But, uh... I don't think I can pull you up. I'm so light, though! I... I don't know. It might be best to, if I tie it to a rock. Fine. There we go, rock. I'm never coming back here. He had those four green crystals, and I took them. I did, you're right. That part was robbery. I feel free. Yup. Just don't fall in again. Kind mushroom, thank you for saving me. I am eternally in your debt. Oh, no worries. One issue, however. How will I climb my way to the exit? Oh, right. Um, oh, I still have my old pair of rusty hooks. I don't really need them anymore, so you can take them. Sharing. I, I don't believe it. Chungi lives again. Thank you. No problem. I'll meet you outside, where I will be reborn. Be careful. We saved Chungi. Good for us, I guess. 
Not sure how he's going to climb out here with just rusty hooks, but I'll figure it out. Why didn't I just give those to him at the start? That's a very good question, Ruben. That is a very good question. And I don't have a good answer for it. I'm gonna play around the lotus leaves. Anyway! Hi, everyone. Oh, hey, Smooshy. My hero returns. Welcome back. Hey, everyone. Looks like the picnic already started. Oh, sorry about that. My friend Chung, you got a little hungry, and I was ravenous when I made it out of the cave. It had been so long since I ate anything. Weren't you only stuck in there for like 20 minutes? Yes, isn't it awful? Well, glad to see you're back safe. Thank you, Smooshy. Um, thank you both. I'm sorry I freaked out earlier. I just really wanted to hang out today. <sighs> Listen, I'm sorry about saying I was busy. I kind of lied. Oh, <gasps> you lied? We live together. We do stuff together every day. I guess I just wanted a little alone time today. But I was it was wrong of me to lie about it. I'm really, really sorry. I'm a little sad that you lied to me. But I understand. I guess I'm just afraid of losing my big brother. But maybe that fear is making me too clingy and jealous. And I should have just let you have some alone time. So, I forgive you. I forgive you, too! You brought us this delicious food! <laughs> well, I'm glad I could help. Jungi and I made some more fun plans for the day. We're gonna head home first so I can show them around. Take me to your lair! I've been told it's very nice. Oh, that sounds fun. Glad you made a new friend, little bro. You two have fun. We will. Farewell, my hero. I think that went well. Totally. He doesn't seem mad anymore. Plus, he has a friend aside from me and my sister. Which has never happened. So I'd say that went very well. Speaking of your sister, we still gotta find her, right? Yup. She couldn't have gone that far, though. Hop on my back and we'll go look for her. Capybara is the only animal chill enough that you could latch onto their face with little hooks. And they'll be like, yeah, sure, no, nah, that's fine. I mean, none of this looks like prime... Sand castle air. Oh, there she is. She kind of blended in a little bit with the brown. Uh, hey. Huh. Why'd you follow me here? I don't know who Cloblot is, but welcome, Raiders. My voice is getting tired from reading the silly dialogue for three and a half hours. Um,. But yeah, welcome to our stream. I think we're almost done with uh, Smooshy Come Home, where we're a little mushroom guy. A little mushroom guy, right there. Ah, uh, Pook also played this game. Gotcha. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm kind of rushing a little bit because I want to finish it today. Yes, there are capybaras. They're goofy. It's, it's pretty good. Um, the one that doesn't have a hat, he's the big brother, and that's his little sister, and at some point earlier today, big brother accidentally broke her sandcastle, and she's mad about it. So, we gotta help 
make up things between these capybara siblings so that the big brother will give me a ride back home because he thinks he knows where my island is there we go we're all caught up um other than that hi welcome i'm juice box blue crab i got blue crab horns claws um it was actually cloblot that played it and pook is just one of the raiders can you tell how fried my brain is from just, like, talking non-stop for the last three and a half hours? Anyway, yeah, thanks for the raid. Um, usually I play a lot of Splatoon 3 and other random stuff, and when the school year starts in a couple weeks, my schedule is going to change a lot. But welcome, and I hope you stick around and have fun with me reading silly capybara dialogue for, like, probably the next hour. Continuing where I was. Why'd you follow me here? You better not mess this up again! Mess what up? My sand sculpture! I'm trying to make a new one now. Since he destroyed my last one. I told you I was sorry. It was an accident, I promise. Anyways! I saw others were building sand castles over here. So I thought it would be the perfect place to try again. This area is sand sculpture friendly, okay? Okay, okay, calm down. Do you need some help building yours? Oh yeah, we could help you build your new one. Hmm. Well, I do need help finding an important piece to my sculpture. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of text. It's funny though, it's nice, it's fun text. And I get to do silly voices. What is it? Something magical. Whoa. I heard rumors of the sacred orbs found on this island. Apparently they bring your creations to life. I don't think that's possible. Sounds amazing! It is! I have no idea where they are, though. Just leave that to us. Your big brother and I can find them. Okay, yeah. What do these things look like? Well, I'm not entirely sure. You said they're orbs, right? Yeah. I heard there's one on this island, too. Works for me. I'll look for one. And I'll look for the other. Maybe I can sniff it out. Quit bragging about how powerful your nose is. I wasn't even... We'll be back with those orbs. I probably shouldn't mess with this. That's, that's probably your sculpture. Um... They don't give you a lot of upgrades, but they do no Ooh, is this new fungus? New fungus. I saw I've got pictures on my camera of like an orange fungus that looks like this that I saw in the woods like a month ago. And they turned into not quite so neon orange mushrooms, but they're still cool. Let's see. To the educational portion of this stream. Claveria Zolingeri. Make no mistake, this is neither coral nor antlers, but indeed a fascinating little fungus. It stands out gracefully with its violet colors and branching fruit bodies, but will become a dull gray-brown color as it ages. Oh, hey, like those orange ones I saw that turned more like orange-brown. Claveria Zolingeri is incredibly rare, and should only be gathered for research purposes. In other words, do not disturb this, friend. Remember good stories from Job. Last Job did not have good stories. Last Job was sad stories. And frustrating stories. Hopefully, School Job will have less frustrating and happier stories. Anyway, Smooshy says, Wow, mushrooms really do come in all shapes and sizes. But this one's really different from most. I wonder if it knows how unique it is. Or maybe it thinks all mushrooms look like this and that I'm the weird one. Orb, orb, orb. Where are we going to find the orb? Not up there. Over here looks suspicious, or maybe on top. You're a person. <laughs> I thought it was a... I thought it was just a flower. 
Poop just noticed the Octoling next to Miku on the bottom left. Yeah, there's a lot of weird things I've drawn here. There's a couple of contributions from people on my Discord as well. The top uh, right is basically Ruben Corner. Yeah. Ah, I've been expecting you, Smooshy. Whoa. How do you almost know my name? The spirit of the forest has shared much about you. Yet their voice has gone quiet as of recent. <laughs> Vibes are 10 out of 10. Thanks. I fear it has to do with our sacred shrines. Do these shrines have the sacred orb? Ah, so that is what you seek. We place these colorful stones on each shrine like this one here. But the sacred orb is an ancient relic we found long ago. So we placed it on our shrine closest to the sun. Praise the sun! Would it be okay if I took it for something? Of course you can, Smoshy. Oh, uh, it's Smooshy? The orb is not ours to hoard. It has knowledge and power to spread for all. So you may take it, but I'm afraid the path to the orb is gone. How come? A corruption has found its way to our peaceful island. And it is our doom. Maybe there's a way to get rid of it? Perhaps. Maybe this is why the spirit of the forest spoke of you. You're our protector. Uh, I'm just gonna try and get the orb, but I'll see what I can do. Right, so presumably the orb is up there, because, you know, that's how these games work. Go up. Just go up. That didn't work. Um, bouncies. That worked much better. The bottom drawings are better than the side ones. That's just like your opinion, man. What's this do? Looks like a rock is missing from here. Is that the corruption? Smash. Well, I guess Smooshy figured that out, because I wasn't gonna. And... Crunch. Not gonna get any flowers on top of the bell, I guess. I'll start with this one on top. Something about the smile of the bear and it's drawn with a mouse look is really cute, though. Yeah, some of these were drawn by people, but I... In order to make it all look... like, uniform, I had to draw it with, um... I, like, traced their drawings that they submitted with a mouse. But it also gives you a kind of idea of what amount of effort I put into any sort of art project involved in the stream. It's a secret behind the waterfall, finally! Semi-circular lad? Oh yeah, that's that's Ruben's blobfish. He drew that. I just added it. Secret cave behind the waterfall. Yeah, he drew that with a pen, like an actual physical... What is this? I'm not sure what kind of critter this is supposed to be. Uh... Hello? Are you okay? I feel awful. What happened to you? Something... I ate something bad, I think. Now it's all over me. You ate something bad. I've poisoned myself. And now, 
I'm I'm done for. Farewell, cruel world. Relax. I'm sure there's a way to get this poison off of you. It won't come off. It loves me too much. I don't think that's how poison works. But it looks like it's outside of you. So maybe there's a way to wash it off? See, someone else likes your blobfish, Reuben. That's nice. No. This is the end for Sluggy. Farewell, cruel- Stop. Huh? You can't give up now. Just because you got sick doesn't mean you're done for. It doesn't? Nope. I'll find a way to wash it off. So just don't go anywhere and behave yourself, okay? Okay. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, this is a new mushroom. That's a really gross looking mushroom. Water bucket moment. I said someone else likes your blobfish. I am included in that someone else. The grouping of people who like the mush the blobfish. Oh, it's or Huh. So sometimes they're orange and sometimes they're brown. Hygrosibe conica. One might think these black and orange mushrooms are two separate species, but they are indeed the same. Commonly known as witch's cap, this vibrant wax cap will easily alter its colors to a bold jet black tone. This transformation occurs with age, but this species can remain standing for many weeks. Smooshy says, witch's cap? Hmm, is it a good witch or a bad witch? Maybe if I poke it, I'll find out. Poke? I <laughs> showed you my blobfish, please respond. Can Smooshy do the water bucket fall thing, though? Well, the thing is, I don't know... I'm only just learning Minecraft. And on Wednesday, when I tried to play Minecraft, Microsoft wouldn't let me log into my account. So I may have lost my little Minecraft world that I had. But if you make any, like, lore or reference techniques to Minecraft, I'm not gonna get it. Probably. Jolly candy like button two. Ah. I can still go up further. Does that make this another only up clone? When you place water right before you fall, he hasn't played it for too long, nor is he up to date on what's going on with it. Uh, this looks like a lot of corruption. Maybe the incense will- yes! Purify the corruption with incense! My Indian friends would find this either offensive or hilarious. Probably funny. they probably find this funny. Bad smells out. Incense smells in. The water bucket clutch. I don't know very much about Minecraft. So I cannot help with this discussion of water bucket clutching. But I think we're about to activate some water. Ah! My body feels happier. And some of this stuff came off.
I've been playing this game for almost four hours, and I'm still just, like, not able to accept that it will not let me look up. He bathing in his lane, focused content. Alright, this is our last Jolly Candy Light button. Nope. There we go. Like, the solution is almost always climb up, and then they won't let me look up to where I'm going. Ruben is helping. Not doing good, but helping. This thing's huge. I'll need to, something else to break this. So if we could look up, we could probably see, like, the bowling ball or whatever we're going to drop on it. Stab, 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 stab. But what's down here? Some sort of seed. I think the seed goes here? Like, doesn't that look like a spot for the seed? purple seed. Oh, they're color-coded! There we go. I'm a dumb. Gamers can't look up. I constantly lament this. I don't know if you've played Splatoon 3, but the uh, co-op mode, they're little dudes who fly off with the, um, the bits you need to do the objective, the eggs. That you're supposed to be collecting. And <laughs> I'm constantly frustrated by my teammates not looking up and seeing that happening. Whoops. We're going this way. It's a bomb! Not dumb. Not dumb, just only a little smart. Ah, there we go. Fire in the hole! Yippee! Way are we going? Over there. More water. Little really smart. Little smart. Perfect balance. I feel alive again. Usually you pour water on a slug and it um messes with their Osmotic pressure will swell up and get sick. We're not going to do the dead word. Oops. Did you save me? Yup. Looks like all that poison washed off. How do you feel? How do I feel? I've never felt more alive. I feel like I can fly. Don't test that. Can you? Uh, well, no, but it feels like it. Perfectly balanced as all things should be. I'll take that as a good sign. But what exactly happened to you? I was just sniffing around for some food. But I came across this weird looking thing. To be honest, it didn't smell or look good. But I ate it anyways. Immediate regret. It tasted terrible. And then I felt terrible. 
The whole situation was just terrible. Well, just don't eat anything suspicious anymore. Floor foods are not part of a balanced diet. Got it? Got it. I vow to never eat anything suspicious again. Good. Unless... Nope. No unless... Just don't do it anymore. Okay. Promise? Promise. Alright, good. I'm going to look for some food that isn't suspicious. Hmm. Alright. Just be safe. I will. Smooshy, looking out for people. He really is a big brother. He just can't help it. It's gotta be big brother to all these weird little bug people. What's with the carrots, people? Ten's good? Ten is usually enough. Sometimes a dozen, though. Sometimes you gotta go for a dozen. Is this a thing? Have we found the thing? We found the thing! Will this orb tell me my future? I'm kind of excited to be up here, but I also want to get this done. Let's break this in case we need to find more crystals, or buy more things. Because in all good games, if you go to the top of something, you find treasure, right? Oh yeah, Fruity Pook, if you want to stick around, like, for other streams, like, to know when I'm streaming and stuff, we've got a Discord where I make announcements, and that's basically all that it's functional for. Otherwise, we just post dumb things. It is not a healthy source of memes. But yeah, there we go. I, I gotta practice my shilling, so I'm gonna shill at you. And inform you of our Discord that Ruben's probably trying to put up link up to now. All right, let's get this done. Average comfy small streamer Discord fair, yes. Oh, it's a it's a capybara, I think. Guess what I found? No way. You found the other orb! Yup. Okay, it looks the same as mine. I wasn't sure if I found the right thing, actually. You two are the best! Oh, thanks for the follow, Fruity. You want Fruity? Fruity Pook? Just Pook? What do you like to be called? I, I can actually finish it now! And if the rumors are true... These orbs will bring my creation to life! Uh, well, let's find out. Okay, okay. One sec while I add the finishing touches. It's perfect! Whoa. Is that... Yup. It's you! It's practically identical. Wow. That's actually really cool. You're really talented, little sis. Yeah, this is amazing. Wow, thanks, you two. I guess the rumors about the sacred orbs weren't true, though. Pook is most common. I like Pook. It's unique. Sure it is. Huh? I'm right here. Aw. Oh, yeah! It worked! These things less than greater than do not work on the show theme on screen. I don't get it.
<laughs> yeah, it worked. Thanks for helping me, you two. I'm, uh, really sorry I got mad at you earlier. It's alright. I really thought your sand sculpture was a spot to nap on. So I'm sorry for not checking with you first. The chat window on the stream itself can't render the less than greater than. That is weird. I... I forgive you. Woo! Thanks, little sis. Are you gonna make another one now? No way! That was the hardest thing I did all week! Yeah, it also doesn't show, um, some of the Discord, like, little... Like, you put D colon and makes it, like, face. It doesn't show that either. Or maybe it does. I don't pay much attention to how it renders on the, um, the actual window. Truth be told. Anyway, I think we're almost done with this game. I think we, we, we we're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Time for me to head home and take a nap. Okay, well, it rendered the face there. I had a feeling you'd say that. Just be safe on your way back. I will. Bye, Mushroom. Bye-bye! Looks like your sister was really happy you helped her. Yeah, definitely. It felt really bad messing up her old sand sculpture. Someone screen cap that and you'll be able to figure out which symbols don't work, which ones do. But it looks like she really appreciated the help. So I think we're good now. Yup! Chivo, Capybar is united. Capybar is together strong. I can't thank you enough for helping me out. I'm not the best with this kind of stuff. But I feel like I learned a lot from you. Oh, glad I could help. I guess I just have experience with younger siblings. They can be a handful at times. But in the end, it comes back to the love you have for each other. As far as I know, I am the smallest, youngest sibling of my group, so I don't know what it's like to be a big brother. So there we go. We just we just played Big Brother Simulator. Yeah. Two big brothers trying not to make their siblings mad at them all the time. Speaking of siblings, are you ready to see yours? I'm sure they've waited long enough. Yes! They're probably really worried about me. I just hope everyone is okay. I'm sure they are. If they're related to you, then I know there are some brave little mushrooms. You're right. It's time to finally head home. Yup, hop on. On to the Copybara cycle. We should be getting close. Do you see anything yet? Hmm. Oh! It's over there! My dumb little island! Yay! Cappy Barboats. Why is there a 12 thirds symbol? Come on! Smooshy is out there and needs our help. But, Boomy, we can't get off this island. The boat we made sank immediately. And none of us are good swimmers. But, 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 we can't give up now, you guys. But we've tried everything. Yeah, it's just, nothing is working. We need Smooshy's help. Maybe we can... Maybe... Spooshy, where are you? I'm on the capybara boat. I'm right here, Umi. Ah... Uh, Spooshy! And then he dies at the end of his journey, being crushed under the weight of his siblings. We thought we lost you forever. Forever? There's no way I let that happen. 
Remember what I said earlier? Family sticks together? Exactly. I'll always find my way back as long as I have you guys. But what happened, Smooshy? How'd you get back home? Uh... It's a long story. I want to hear! Me too. Yeah, let's hear it, Smooshy. Alright. Well, it all started when I got attacked by a bird. Does Smooshy's mushroom randomly change color? No, I found a water hat that I put on. And yeah, it doesn't remember that skin during the cutscene. So yeah, that's the end. We're done. We finished the game. It took four hours. Made with Unity and FMOD Studio and other stuff that I don't know. Mycology references! Special thanks to friends, family, Smooshy Come Home Discord community. And of course, thanks to you for watching me play a video game. <laughs> Game's done, now we can cry over how cute the characters were. Continue exploring? Not for now. Not right now. So, yeah, um, I'm not going to be streaming on Saturday. So I'll be back on Monday, and hopefully I'll have Minecraft working again by then. Next week is my last week of sticking with this schedule, so we're going to figure, we're going to figure things out eventually. But, um, yeah, I'll be back Monday, probably playing Minecraft. Tuesday's still going to be Splatoon. Nothing big. Uh, hope you all have a good weekend. And, uh, you know, take care of yourselves. Like Smooshy said, to, like, so many characters in this game. Just take care of yourselves. Bye for now.